I know he talks about his daughter a lot, Jennifer. And uh, I always hear great things. Well, tonight, neighbors are remembering a family man who was tragically killed in a hit and run. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight for News 19 at 11. I'm Christy Kalkak now. Well, residents in rural Pillion are mourning the loss of 74 year old Robert Bars. Chris English is joining us here tonight. OK, so Chris, you spent the entire day today talking to residents over in Pillion. What did they have to say about all of this? Well, Christy, as you can imagine, just a tragic situation yeah. there in Pillion. And Robert's friends and families are still in shock this afternoon as the family man was hit and killed. Now they're hoping someone will come forward with more information on this case. I know he loves his family a lot. I know, uh, sorry. <laughs> Kyle Mastis choked up as he remembered his neighbor, 74-year-old Robert Bars. The South Carolina Highway Patrol says Bars was killed Thursday evening by a hit-and-run driver as he was crossing Highway 178 on his way to a local store. Troopers say surveillance video from the store shows that 34 other vehicles drove past bars with multiple vehicles hitting him before someone finally stopped and called 911. Masta says bars regularly cross the busy road. I know my wife sees them almost every morning going across the street looking both ways to get some breakfast or some kind of food, whatever they had over there. Members of Barr's family who live adjacent to his property say he lived in the area for decades and was a good man who was always kind, generous, and helpful. Masta says speeding in the area is a chronic problem. Speeding limit is 55, but a lot of people don't obey by that. They fly down this road. I got two kids, and I pretty much keep them in the backyard, but I say it's too dangerous to be in the front yard, especially how traffic goes through here. Late this afternoon, the Highway Patrol released this flyer and a picture representing the vehicle they believe hit and killed bars. Troopers say they are looking for a champagne-colored 2011 to 2013 Chevrolet Impala. They say the car will have damage to the front and driver's side. Bars family is hopeful someone will come forward with more information. And we want to show all of you at home this image again as the Highway Patrol is looking for that champagne-colored Chevy Impala like this one on your screen. Troopers are asking for anyone that may have information about this incident to contact them directly by calling Star FHP, excuse me, Star HP through the P3 Tips app or by calling Crime Line at one crime sc